Life in this refugee camp is harsh. Even getting basics like food is tough. But for nearly a decade, Khaled Asahir and his family have called it home. We came to Lebanon in 2013 because of the bombs. I saw families dying in front of me. I left for my children and wanted them to live in a safe place. About one and a half million Syrian refugees now live in Lebanon, more than a fifth of the country's entire population. The government says it can no longer support them after Lebanon's currency collapsed, causing widespread poverty. Lebanon is unable to absorb this huge number of refugees. No country could. The country is struggling to either integrate these refugees or keep them on its soil. Qadar Ward's shop is just metres away from a refugee camp. He earns about 30 Australian dollars per month and is angry his neighbours get financial support that he can't access. A foreigner in Lebanon is receiving aid and us Lebanese don't even get a loaf of bread. What more can I say? The government says it won't force the refugees here to leave Lebanon, but it has revealed to the ABC it plans to make it more difficult for aid agencies to continue to provide support, though it's yet to say how that will happen. Lebanon will not make it comfortable for them to want to stay here. For most of these kids, they've never known life anywhere else. Sometimes at work I hear the Lebanese complain that the Syrians stole their jobs and more. It hurts. It's just words, but it's quite hurtful. The UN Refugee Agency says the Syrians have a right to choose if and when they return and that their protection in host countries remains vital. Alison Horn, ABC News, Northern Lebanon.